everybody, it's time for another Road to the Show episode, and football is officially over, so it's baseball season. Pitchers and catchers are reporting in about a week, and in this episode, I'm going up against Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers. It's a three-game series. I am currently 11 games out of the wild card, trailing the Giants and Pirates, and we're playing at Coors Field again, so there's going to be some long home runs in this game, hopefully. There's Dave Roberts, the manager of the Dodgers, mostly famous for his famous steal in the 2004 ALCS against the Yankees when they were down three to nothing, and we're down five to nothing here. And I'm facing Clayton Kershaw, so if you give Clayton Kershaw a 5-0 lead after two innings, more than likely you're gonna lose. But here it looks like I got him, so that one's. Gonna break up the shutout. That one's way out of here. That might have gotten over the seats. 28 training points. I think that cleared the seats. There's a walkway out there behind the seats where people can stand and get concessions. And if it clears all the seats, you're looking at around 500 feet. I think my farthest one yet was 504. And there we go, 517. So a new career long. And it comes off of Clayton Kershaw, no less. So... Here's the replay of the home run. That one was just crushed. Let's see exactly where it lands out there. Yep, it hit that concourse out there. And here's Kershaw. You can see he's he knows it's gone. Well, the bad news is that I'm still trailing by a bunch. Seven to one. So I get to play a little defense here. The goal is to not make any errors and put my team even more in a at a disadvantage. That one's going to be catchable. I'm getting better and better at this first-person view on defense. Haven't made too many errors recently. When I first started playing Road to the Show, especially in the minor leagues, I just was awful at this. I would probably make like two errors a game. Then I'd, For a while there, the Pirates just had me at DH in the minors because I was so bad. I, they never even let me play the field. And there, Turner hits a dinger. So what is it now, like 8-1, to 417-foot dinger? All right, eight to one, and I got another shot. So if the Rockies could just get some guys on base, I mean, I know it's tough to do it against Kershaw because his whip is like 0.9 something usually. And there's another home run. So I've got Kershaw's number today. That's way out of here. Up again on the concourse there, 452 feet. So that one was pulled more down the line. The more you go towards center out on that concourse, the farther it is. And there's the replay. It looks like it hit off of that brick building there, right by the concession stand. And now it's 10 to 2. So this is a, a typical course field game. Really poor pitching by at least one of the teams. Even Kershaw is giving up some dingers here. Let's see if I can get him again. Got two guys on base here. Oh, I almost took his head off up the middle. That might get a run home. Yeah, that's going to be an RBI at least. So. That's three runs off Kershaw. I mean, if we were playing at maybe Dodger Stadium, we might have a chance to win here, but Coors Field, it's just... The Dodgers, by the way, have a 657 winning percentage in this season of Road to the Show. They are the division leaders, and I think the Rockies are like 21 games behind them. And you can see why. They're, they're pounding us here. That's ripped in the gap, so that's gonna be a double i don't think i have enough speed to stretch that into a triple i mean i could try but i probably would have been you know what i i don't know they threw to third base so i think i would have been out so good decision to kind of hold up there at second base and there's a nice little close-up of me i really wish in real life the rockies would get good because i'm so tired of just the dodgers and giants just battling it out every season for the division you know the Padres aren't going to be there for a little while. You know that the, the, I mean, the Diamondbacks, I thought were going to be okay last year, but they just kind of fell off the earth. The Rockies have the offense. They just need to get some pitching. Well, that's it for game one. They completely pounded us 11-4. to four. And now, I mean, we got a new game here, game number two. I could still take two out of three. There's still some hope. If I take two out of three, maybe I can make up some ground in the wild card. I mean, that's the goal. It's only like August, first week in August, so 
we play like 667 baseball the rest of the way it's possible oh i took a bad bad route but hey i made up for it that's an outfield assist took a late break getting after that ball there so it fell in and the runner didn't had to kind of hold to see if i was going to catch it and i was able to throw him out well anyway it is my first step out of the game and there's some ducks on the pond first and third have a chance to get some rbis we got it that's gonna be three to nothing that's way back and out of here out towards the bbq stand i don't know what that probably is in real life it's probably called like Bichette's Barbecue or something like that after Dante Bichette, one of the great Rockies of the 90s. Well, we got the 3-0 lead here, and I get another at-bat. That's kind of good that I'm not getting a ton of fielding opportunities out there and left. And this pitcher is working pretty slow. The pitch, and we take him out the other way. So that's going to be 5 to nothing out there into the bullpen that would be kind of fun to try to retrieve a ball out of the bullpen i i usually use a lot of, of ball retrievers in batting practice that would be a long range one those are the funnest ones the ones that are real high up that take a lot of precision to get it well i got my third at bat right now and i think i got it again three home runs this game that one just stays fair right above that little what is that? Kind of like a, a tunnel or something. They probably they probably put the uh, batting practice stuff out there. And it's 10 to nothing. A complete blowout. We could have used some of these runs last game when we lost 11 to 4. But that's the way it goes at course Field. And I make the catch there. So not a whole lot of errors. I, I put a couple training points in there on my fielding and reaction time and everything to kind of help me out. And not be such a complete bum out in left field I'm trying for my fourth home run of the game here and I got it so four dingers you know what I just thought of from watching all these replays because I mean I, I edit out the replays and stuff but they always put MVP up on the scoreboard I wonder if I've got a shot for the MVP award because coming into this game I think I had like around 40 home runs and I think the second best player was Joey Votto with 31 so I might end up hitting like 90 some home runs and I think if you hit 90 home runs and break the single season home run record you're going to get some consideration for the MVP award. I mean it'll be interesting. I know a lot of people don't vote vote for MVPs of a like a last place team but if the Rockies can get into contention here it's it's possible. Well this is game three. You saw the Dodgers have like a 70 and 37 record so they are just killing it in this road to the show. And I'm just killing it. There's another home run. That is back there into that rock pile area out there in center field. So 467 feet. I bet a lot of you watched the Super Bowl today. Uh, overtime game. I saw just a little bit of it. I went to the gym. Like that's That's like the best time to go to the gym during the Super Bowl because nobody was there. I mean, the guy there probably hated me when I walked in there. You know, the worker because... He's probably like, oh, this guy's coming during the Super Bowl. I'm going to have to stay later. I can't close the shop early. There's another home run, by the way. But I was uh, I was in there. I think it was like 21 to 3 or something. And then the halftime show was on. I just, I don't know what the heck that was. I was doing a little bit of cardio on the uh, Stairmaster, and I was forced to watch Lady Gaga and a bunch of choreographed paid fans with, like, flashlights and stuff. It was just, I don't know. Luckily, the audio was off. But that's my third home run of the game. So this is looking like it's going to be a blowout here. And I'm thinking that one might have a shot at 500 feet. So let's see here. And almost 492. So another long home run. Those home runs are great for training points. Because, I mean, I think you get... I don't know, like 10 or 12 extra points. So you can use that to make your player better. Eventually, I'd like to get my player up to be like a 99 overall rated player. But anyhow, it's 4-6. to six. The Dodgers are trailing, so could maybe give the Rockies a little more cushion here with another home run. And whoa, that one's way out of here if it stays fair. Oh, it hit off that building and went out of the stadium. 
That one completely got out. So whatever street that is, what street is that anyway? Is it Blake Street? I know, aren't the Rockies called the Blake Street Bombers? It went out of the stadium, hit off the top of that building and went out. So we have to watch the replay. 497 feet to where it landed. And then it looked like it bounced and just disappeared from view. Here it is, way out there, pretty much right over the top of the foul pole. And it hits off that building and goes through that tree and out onto the street. So completely out of Coors Field. Get some high fives in the dugout for that long bomb. And looks like that game ended up being a laugher. The Rockies pull it off. They win two out of three, nine to four. And we're gonna check the standings here. Hopefully we made up a little ground. We started the series down 11 games. And now we're back 11 and a half because the Pirates won four in a row. So that would figure I'm facing the Pirates, the team that traded me away. But thanks for watching everybody. And baseball season is just around the corner now that the Super Bowl is over. I cannot wait to get back to the ballpark and do some videos at some baseball stadiums.